I secured 100% scholarship in Anthe. Anthe helped me a lot. It helped me motivate and work harder in my field. Hello friends, I am Yashit Verma and I am currently pursuing class 12th in Akash. I joined Akash in class 9th and I have gone through two year foundation program. I got to know about Akash from my friends and family. I started my Akash journey from class 9th. I was inspired by Olympiads and I got to know about Akash my friends and it helped me a lot in my boards and Olympiads like PRMO, IMO, NSO and it also helped me in board exams to secure 99.4%. Akash gives you a very good competitive environment and builds a strong fundamentals and foundation for coming classes like plus one and plus two. Anthe is one of the most prestigious and competitive exams in India. I appeared in Anthe in 2019 and I got to know about it from my friends and peer group. I secured 20 rank in Anthe and it helped me a lot in working harder in my field. I strongly recommend all of you to appear in Anthe as Anthe gives you a clear image of your aptitude and your level where you are standing in your age mates, I secured 100% scholarship in Anthe. Apart from 100% scholarship in Anthe, Anthe helped me a lot. It helped me motivate and work harder in my field. I have been a 4 year regular classroom student at Akash and my experience here has been absolutely wonderful. The faculty and material provided here are top notch. Akash gives you a very good competitive environment for competitive exams like J and NEET. So I recommend all of you to join Akash if you want to prepare for competitive exams. I decided to prepare for JE in class 8th. I got inspired from my father who is a CSE engineer and my mother who is a physics teacher. So I had already developed a keen and ardent interest in maths and physics from class 8th onwards. So I also got to know about major opportunities after completing CSE in major IITs. I had my dream to pursue CSE in IIT Delhi. So that's why I started preparing from JE advance and mains. JE is a very tough and competitive exam, so one needs to be too much determined and consistent throughout the two years. We should make a plan and follow it strictly. One should allocate at least four to five hours of self-study daily apart from classes. If there are any doubts, we should consult our teachers immediately. We should give equal times to physics, chemistry and maths. In my case, I used to lag behind in chemistry a lot. So I used to practice chemistry too much like organic chemistry was my weak point so I used to take doubts and solve assignments regularly so that I could improve in my weak parts. There were many challenges that I faced throughout my two year J journey. First of all when you enter 11th class there is a tremendous increase in slavers and pace of teaching so one needs to follow fixed curriculum and follow the routine carefully. One should make notes, do self study and take doubts daily and if there is any problem in concepts, one needs to consult its mentor or teacher. So the second problem that I faced was of homesickness, lack of communication with my parents. Then I started to talk to them daily and they motivated me a lot. Then is the problem was backlogs. Backlogs need to be cleared immediately by talking to our teachers and mentors. Teachers played a very big role in my J journey. They strengthened my concepts so strong that I never had to recommend any other reference books. They were available 24-7 for any doubt sessions. And if there was any other concept that was not clear to me in class, I used to go for one-to-one -one doubt sessions. If one is preparing for JE mains, one doesn't need to care a lot about boards. We just need to read NCRT daily as NCRT is an indispensable part of both JE mains and boards. So we should also go through previous year CBSE questions as they are mostly repeated. So in the last days of board exams, we should practice for subjective questions. This was my strategy for board exams. FTS helped me a lot in last days. It helped me to know my position among top preparers for J mains. It also got me to know where I was weak and I needed revision. So FTS is a final go before J mains. Last month before J main was very crucial. One should only try to practice those questions that one has already solved, revise the notes and solve more and more PYQs. We should be regular in our mock test series and final test series. Then we should realize our mistakes and work on them. We should also stay relaxed and try not to stress during the last period so that we do not panic in final J mains attempt. My parents had a big and evident role in my J success. My father is from engineering background and he always encouraged me to work hard and increased my interest in this field. My whole family provided a healthy environment for my studies. They always encouraged me when I was feeling low. They always motivated me to work hard and hard. We all know social media is a big distraction for today's students who are preparing for JE. So one should always abstain from these things. 
I never created a social media account on Facebook or Instagram. So I use my phone only for study purposes or whenever I would like to contact my parents or teachers for doubt purposes. In my JE journey, during long study hours, one always feels stressed or feels the need to relax a little bit. So I used to talk to my friends and family and I also used to solve puzzles like Sudoku and play physical games like badminton that released my stress a lot and made me better for my studies. Friends were an integrated part of my two year long J journey. Friends help a lot. They keep you away from depression and uplift your mood whenever you are sad. And I always used to prefer self-study rather than group study. There were group discussions where we used to discuss our methods and sometimes our friends recommend better method than us. So group discussions are must but self-study is even better. In my case, I was initially very weak in chemistry. I faced a lot of problems in organic and inorganic chemistry. In organic chemistry, my teacher suggested me to write reactions again and again and memorize them. And in case of inorganic chemistry, I tried to read NCRT more and more times so that I could memorize all the data given in NCRT. Then I switched to higher books like Akash Module and JD Lee that make me even better in organic and organic chemistry. Health is very important and crucial factor in our J preparation. So we should try to eat home cooked food and avoid all kind of junk food. For mental health, you should talk to your parents and friends or go, go for long walks with them. One should also include fresh foods and also include water in our day to day routine so that we could refresh our minds. In order to maintain a good health, we should take at least 6 to 7 hours of sleep. I see in my many friends that due to lack of sleep, there can be inefficiency in studying hours and depression. So one should take ample amount of sleep so that we remain efficient in our study hours. I would recommend all the JE experience to stay regular and consult your mentors whenever you are feeling low. We should be regular at our practice and work hard daily. We should solve our modules on regular basis, attend tests seriously and be regular in mock tests also. Previous year questions also help a lot in JE preparation. So all the best, thank you.